Hey everybody, I think I was a little early before. Alright. I'm ready for your questions. Who is your favorite DC character? My favorite DC character is... I mean... I love Batman, obviously. Um, I... I'm gonna have to go with Batman. Yeah, I love Batman. What's next for Bruce? I mean, I think, uh, for, from Carly Quinlan. I think for Bruce, um, things are going to be very heated. There's gonna be a major bad by the end of the season, and... Bruce will be very involved in taking him down, um, and you know the good guys are going to have to really unite. What's it like being part young Bruce Wayne? I mean, the the thing that I love so much about the show, and what attracted me so much to the role in the first place, is that we've never seen Batman grow up and become, over time, evolving into you know the Cape Crusader, and so that's that's really a major part of the show, and especially with my character. If you had to play another character in Gotham, oh, what is it? Uh, I did it. Who would it be and why? If I had to find another character in Gotham, I would love to... You know, I would love to step in the shoes of B.D. Wong's character, Hugo Strange. I just find him so interesting and different than anything we've ever seen before. You know, he's he's so methodical and so creepy. And he's, he's, he's so logical but so crazy at the same time. And it's just it's fascinating. Sorry about your parents' death. I appreciate that. The good news is that my real parents are still alive. Best I'm Batman impression. I'm Batman. Who is your best friend in Gotham series? I don't have one best friend, but I think the person I spend the most time with um, is probably Sean Pertwee, who plays uh, Alfred Pennyworth. Jim vs. Penguin. Ooh, that's a good one. Jim vs. Penguin. Well, I mean, at this point... Jim probably has more resources because Penguin hasn't really gotten his gun umbrella yet. Or has he? How do you do your hair? It takes a while. It takes about a half an hour to 45 minutes. They, they, see this is my, this is my normal hair here. Um, what they do on set is they wet it down, put conditioner in it, um, gel it all. Do you watch any of the other DC TV shows? Of course, I would love Arrow, I love Flash. Do you feel a part of a big thing? Yeah, I mean, Gotham is huge. It's so it's so exciting to be a part of a show that's so... In, like, you know, you go up to anybody and ask them, do you know what Gotham is? They they will. And um, it's just it's so it's so great to be a part of that. What about Jerome? Is Jerome alive? Is Jerome dead? I don't know. We saw a little bit of him in Indian Hill. Is he alive? Will he come back? Will you see a trigger point? for him to be Batman and why he's scared. I think uh, a major defining moment in this season is when he has Matches Malone, who is the man, or the man that Bruce, as of now, thinks that killed his parents, uh, and he has him at gunpoint, and he decides not to pull the trigger. I think that's an extremely defining moment for Bruce because, uh, in, in becoming Batman, because Batman is distinguished by He's one of the only superheroes who doesn't kill, and that is really um, a distinctive feature that Batman has. And I think in that moment, Bruce makes that decision. You know, killing is not necessary, it doesn't accomplish anything. And it also doesn't give him the satisfaction he thought it would. Do you hope you'll ever get to wear anything close to Batman's suit? Of course! I'm ready for the cape now! Give it to me right now! I am Batman! Do you think Fish Mooney is coming back to Gotham? Yeah, well, Jada, Jada is coming back. Um, I can't... Maybe it'll be flashbacks. Maybe she'll just be dead. Maybe she'll come back to life. There's infinite possibilities. Or did she even die at the end of season one? Did she? Is this the only project you're working on? 
Um, I mean, it's it's difficult to do anything else because Gotham is nine and a half months out of the year, out of twelve month year, and so, uh, and the other th two and a half months that I'm off, I am in school, so. Um, even if I, even if something that was really great did fall into that two and a half month uh, window, I don't know if I want to do it because I have a limited amount of time in school as it is. Mexico loves the series. Thank you, Mexico. Yeah, of course I would come. If I was invited to a Comic-Con experience at Brazil, would you come? Of course I would come. I always wanted to go to Brazil. I spent three months in Argentina shooting a movie about two years ago, and I love South America. Wait one second. Alright, sorry about that. I just had to close my door. <laughs> it's getting loud outside. Next to Walking Dead, the best episode, the best show on television. I haven't seen the finale yet, so nobody spoil it for me, please. I love that show. Was the guy that shot fish dead shot? Uh huh. Maybe. Maybe. How do you evaluate your performance so far? I like to think I'm doing a good job. <laughs> what do you guys think? How will the evolution of your character in the third season? Uh, well, Bruce will, I think second season really is laying the groundwork. I think in the first season, Bruce is grieving. In the second season, Bruce is laying the groundwork to becoming Batman. He is... Um, He's he's really developing the his morals and the the code that he he's gonna live by, um, and the things that he will fight for. Because Batman's a fighter, of course, we all know that. But what does he fight for? And I think in season two, that's what he's establishing. And in season three, I think it's gonna be a lot of training. You know, it's gonna be boxing training with Alfred and um, uh, gadget training with Lucius Fox and um, he will develop his second persona, his Playboy public persona. How do you think Bruce will handle Joker? Well, how does Batman handle Joker? Can you impersonate the line from Bad Neighbors? I'm Batman. Shout out to Curtis Asher. Do you play any video games? I I used to play Call of Duty. I loved Call of Duty. Uh, I, I played a little bit of Halo, but not as much. I really want to play Assassin's Creed. I've played it. I want to get it. I have played it, but... Um, I can't really play Call of Duty. I don't have time for video games anymore. Oh, do you? This is a cool, this is a cool question. Do you think it would be ever possible for the Flash to travel back in time in Gotham for a case? Perhaps that would that I would be so it would be so great for Flash to travel back in time and go into the past and be in Gotham. I'd love that. I'd love to have Grant Gustin on the show. Or maybe if things get supernatural in Gotham, if they have it too much yet. Maybe somebody can go into the future and be on Flash. Are you looking forward to the Flash crossover? There's a Flash crossover happening? Will Bruce ever meet Clark Kent? And what do you think of Ben Affleck playing Batman? I loved Ben Affleck playing Batman. I thought he was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. I'm so glad that he was cast in the role. Um, and I thought he just knocked it out of the park. I'm, I feel, I feel proud to be playing Bruce Wayne after his performance. Um, what was the other question? Will Bruce ever meet Clark Kent? I hope so. That would be so much fun. Have a mini Batman vs. Superman on Gotham. Uh, I don't know if we've ever gone outside of... I think the entire show in, in its entirety has taken place in Gotham. So I don't know if anybody can go to Metropolis. But no, I don't, Clark can come to Gotham. Why not? Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Team DC Comics, bro. Who said that, Dominic? And or for? Come on, man. Come on. Just started watching Gotham and I love it. Thank you. Are you a student? Yes, I am. I'm in school. I'm in ninth grade. Just got home from school about 20 minutes ago, as a matter of fact. Well, they time jump you into, be into being Batman. You know, I don't know if I'm old enough. I'm only 15 myself, and I think Bruce is around my age. I don't think we really established it on the show. But I don't think you can have a 15-year-old Batman. Brazil loves you. A lot of use. Thank you, Brazil. I love you too. What's up, Bruce Wayne? What's up, Ladell? Antonio Owens. Are you going to Nanda Parbat anytime soon to get trained? I mean, I know in the Christian Bale movies, Bruce 
slash Batman goes to the League of Assassins uh, with Liam Neeson slash Ra's al Ghul, um, to get trained. And I would love if there is some sort of world traveling experience for Bruce. That would be a lot of fun. Batman or Superman? Super Ram. Superman. Super Ram. I'm sure they meant Superman. Um, Batman, come on. Could Gotham do a crossover with the Flash? Absolutely. Would Flash ever time travel to the past Gotham or pr your present? Absolutely. That would be great. I think they could totally make that work. It might be a little difficult, but, you know, Supergirl's having a crossover with Flash, so why couldn't Gotham? Who's your favorite movie Batman? Um, it's, it's a really close tie between Ben Affleck and Christian Bale. I think they just both... They, re they really brought the intensity and darkness to Batman that he deserves, that the character deserves. What is it like to be part of such a great cast? It's amazing. My Our, our cast, ev I think everybody was so perfectly cast for their role and is so incredibly kind and nice and sweet and great actors. It's really, really great actors. Our casting department is amazing. Would you like to be on any other DC show? as a camo. Yes, absolutely. I think if Bruce invents a time machine, which is not too far off, Bruce is a brilliant, intelligent boy, um, and goes to the future and meets Arrow, Oliver Queen, or or Barry Allen. Pff, mind blown. It would be so much fun. Do you have the pop vinyl of yourself? You know, somebody at it, I didn't, I didn't get it myself. I, I wanted to. I just didn't get a chance to, and then I was at a convention, and a fan gave it to me. Um, and I said, no, I can't take this. You bought this for yourself. And he said, you don't have one? I said, no. And he said, okay, well, I have to give this to you. And then he just, he, I, I didn't take it from him, but he put it under my table. And then I didn't notice it until he was gone. Will you train with the league in the future? I mean, yes, I I would love that. I don't know if that's going to... Oh, wow. I'm pretty high. Um, I don't know if that's going to happen, uh, but I would love... I'm going to have to go faster because there are a lot of questions here. How old is Bruce Wayne in the show? Uh, I think he's around my age. I'm 15. Ham sandwich. What a great comment, Tyler Hill. Thank you. Hey, how feels kissing Selena? Fun. David, I have to tell you, you're the best Bruce Wayne I've ever seen. Thank you. Ruben O. Alvarez. Have you ever said I am Batman during filming in a deep voice? My voice isn't too deep yet, so you know I'm waiting. I'm waiting for puberty to fully kick in. Na 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 Batman. Thank you, Diego Luna. Do I coming a third season three of Gotham? Yes, a th season three of Gotham is coming. Uh, it'll be premiering probably around September. We haven't started shooting. Yet. We just finished season two. Do you like the movie Batman vs Superman? I loved it. I thought it was great. I will admit. It, I'm, I, I was tired the first time I saw it, so I was a little confused, but it was great because I saw it a second time, and it was amazing. I, like, saw it the second time, and I just thought it was the best movie I've ever seen. And it, it, it's such, it's such a great movie. It's really incredible. I'm sorry, I'm answering, it takes too long to answer. There's so many questions here. You are going to the role so well. Hi from Mexico City. Hi, Mexico City. Will we ever see Batmite? I love that. Riddler vs. Penguin. The mobster versus the lunatic. I think maybe the... I think Riddler. I mean, what he did to Jim Gordon was pretty elaborate and pretty genius. Can you speak Spanish? Un poco. I live in L.A., so... I mean, pick it up, but, um... Not, not fluently. I can understand it more than I can speak it. Bruce. Yes, Bruce! Two exclamation points. X David X. Be songs. Do you want Harley Quinn to show up soon? Yes, that'd be so great. I mean, maybe one of the characters that's already on the show is Harley Quinn. I'm not saying anything. My lips are sealed. Hi, Master Bruce. Hi, Jesse Luther. Say in Spanish, Barcelona Campeon for Ecuador, please. Barcelona Campeon for Ecuador, please. <laughs> Favorite sport? player to watch to watch love watching basketball and I love watching football to play uh, probably I'm not really a sports guy but I probably basketball 
how to be who's your favorite cast member to work with and why i mean like i said before i, I work with sean pertwee the most and he's just a blast he's so much fun he's so he's so funny and he's he's, he's a brilliant actor just I, I learned so much from him will you be taking any martial arts training during filming i you know i i've been asking um myself in my head the same question <laughs> I think I think as I get older, I might need to buff up a little bit to become Batman. Are we gonna see you in any movie? Yeah, I actually do have a movie coming out um, May thirteenth. It's a horror movie called The Darkness. Are you tired? You look tired. I know. I'm pretty tired. I just came from a long day of school. It's a hard day. I had two quizzes. Brazil loves Gotham. Thank you, Brazil. Favorite villain. Uh, my favorite villain in the show or in general? In 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 the show, I don't. I, I'm, I'll save it for later unless somebody asks specifically. But um, in in in, in general, I really love the Mad Hatter because the Mad Hatter has an emotional connection with Bruce. Uh, you know, in I forgot what comic book I read. I forgot. Maybe one of you guys will know. Um, I was reading a comic book and uh, in to bond with his mom, the Bruce's bonding experience with his mom was always reading Alice in Wonderland. And so when this twenty years later, after his mom's gone. Um, you know, however long it is, uh, a, a villain shows up that's the Mad Hatter, you know, it's very emotional for Bruce, so I, I, really, I really like that, and what it, how its effect on Bruce. What is young Bruce Wayne's greatest ability? I think his mind. He's just, he's brilliant, for, especially for his age. And it's extremely composed. He's just, he's a mature young man. He's, he's, he is a young man. Keep rolling on, man. You're a great actor. Hello from Canary Island, Spain. Hello, Canary Island, Spain. I've, I just wanted to go to Spain. Sorry, something there. What or who is your inspiration for your version of Bruce Wayne slash Batman? I think um, when I when I when I when we started shooting the most recent Batman was Christian Bale, and I think that really is one of the biggest inspirations for me. Yeah, there you go. Do you foresee a Flash appearance? Like I said before, I I, I would I'm extremely open to the idea. It's not really up to me, but I'm extremely open to it. I think you're doing a marvelous job as Bruce Wayne. Thank you so much, Gina Stewart. Really appreciate that. Hey, will we ever see Batman? I don't know. I think it really just depends on a lot of things. I think it depends on how long the show goes. Depends on where the writers want to take it, where the studio wants to take it, where the network wants to take it. You know, there's just, there's a, it, it, too many factors. Is Robin going to be introduced or Bane? Uh, I don't know, but I would love to find out. What was it like getting ready for the part of young Bruce Wayne? Um, I didn't do too much preparation. I think just auditioning, talking to Danny and Bruno, our two executive producers, about who, what version of Bruce Wayne you're looking for. And, um, yeah, there wasn't too much preparation. Do you see yourself in any other superhero show? I mean, I'm completely open to the idea. I was working on a TV series. I was working on the TV series The Office. Oh, I was on that show. Steve Bruce. How often do you hang out with Cameron? We hang out. Yeah, we, um, we, 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 yeah. We, I think all the cast members, you know, we, we do stuff together. We have cast hangouts and... Can you dab for us? Um, I can't dance. But, there you go. The screen is black. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know why it's black for you. Try your, turn your brightness up. Um, any possible crossovers uh, you would like to see with Gotham? Yes, absolutely. I would love to see Flash, Arrow, uh, any of the any of the Supergirl, any of the shows that are DC shows that are on um, TV right now. Come back. Where did I go? <laughs> Have you seen the new Batman vs Superman movie? Yes, and I loved it. Good boy. Thank you. Good boy. Dab. Uh, Walking Dead finale is okay. What other character would you like to play in Gotham? Um, I said Hugo Strange before. I mean, I I would love to just play with all of them. You know, I, I would love to try Edward Nigma. He is brilliant. I, I don't know if I could ever do a Corey. He is he's just amazing. Um, do you want to put on? Do you want to put? On, do you want? Sorry, what's wrong with my brain today? I'm just really tired. Uh, do you want to put the costume on? Yes, absolutely. Give it to me right now. I'm ready. Bro, you're awesome. I really appreciate that, Danny Reinhardt. You like Batman vs. Superman? Yes, I did. 
Do you eat Puerto Rican food while filming Gotham in New York? Not particularly, but I have eaten Puerto Rican food. Hi! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Hi! Any news about you and Cat? Uh, you have to watch and see. I mean, right now Bruce is living on the street with Cat, so... Just watch and see him. I can't, I don't want to spoil anything. How old are you? I'm 15. Good job. Thank you. You play your part well. Thank you. Yep, you're awesome. Thank you. Hi, David. There's a third season of Gotham? Yes, there is. We got picked up officially. You're doing awesome. Thank you. That shot on Earth 2 is a cop, though. Yeah. Dab again? Why are people wanting me to dab? I'm not a good dancer. Do you like the Batman vs. Superman? Uh, yeah, I love Batman vs. Superman. You're doing an awesome job on Gotham. Thank you. Hello from Spain. You are nice, Bruce. Thank you. You're an awesome Bruce Wayne. Thank you. Was Lori Petty fun to work with? Oh my god, she was amazing. She, she was so much fun. She was like, she was so much fun. And you could see it in her performance, you know. She was such, she brings such a presence to the show. She really added to the camp of the show. And it, it really, it really, she really enriched the quality of, of that episode, absolutely. And I really hope she comes back. That would be so much, I, I loved working with her. I, I couldn't have enough praise for her. Also, you are a good actor. Don't give up acting. Thank you. That's in Spanish. Hey, David Mazus. Greetings from Peru. Your performance is so good. The plot of the series is great. Congrats for all the team. Thank you so much. That really means a lot to me. R2 of Vargas. Is this your time acting? Well, I'm not acting right now because we're on something called hiatus, which is the break between shooting season two and three. So we go back, I think, early summer to film season three. But we just filmed season two. So I'm not, I'm not doing any acting right now. I'm just in school. Batman or Superman? Batman. Will your character pursue who paid to have his parents killed? Absolutely. That is that is his main, that is his determination the second half, the rest of the season. And possibly in season three as well. No, not possibly, definitely in season three as well. Or possibly. I don't want to spoil anything. It's, the hard, it's, so, it's so tough, guys. Train, train, become the Batman at Fight Club. Batman! You should be extremely proud of yourself, being so talented at such a young age. Thank you, Zoe Bunny. Who's your favorite Batman so far? I couldn't pick. They're all so different. You are so adorable. And I can see you turn into many of the fine actors that have taken the role, but yet you bring something new to the role. Thank you so much. You know, I, 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 one of the things I really try to do is I really try to take inspiration from different comic books and different movies, different previous incarnations of Batman, and at the same time, add my own spin on it and what, what I think the role should be. What did you think of Batman or Superman? I loved it. What's your favorite character? On what? You're doing a great job. Thank you. He's talking to self, not writing. Will Harley be on the show soon? I don't know. What do you think of Batman, Ben Affleck's Batman? I loved it. Where do you stand on Trump? <laughs> I'm not going to get political. <laughs> okay, because I think three people asked this before. Do you play Batman Arkham Knight? Um, I tried, but I'm so bad at video games that I tried. I actually played it with Sean and his son um, in New York over the summer. And... We couldn't, we couldn't get past the second level. We're, I'm terrible. Do we see you becoming Batman by any chance? I would love that. I mean, I really don't know the answer to that, but I, I'm. I, that, that would. You know, I'd be, I'd be very happy, and I'm extremely open to the idea. You should play Batman in the future. Thank you. I'm from Houston, Texas. I love Houston. I'm kidding. I've never been to Houston. I've only been to Dallas, Austin, and San Antonio. But I, I'm dying to go to Houston. It's the one city in Texas that I really haven't been to. Well, you know, major city. I've been to Fort Worth, too. What year do you think Gotham takes place in? I think it doesn't take place in New York. Gotham's not a real place. It's not a real time period. You know, you have 70s buildings, but at the same time you have um, 20s clothes, 30s clothes, 50s clothes, and there are cell phones. So, you know, it's it's a mix of everything. What's your favorite Batman version? I don't think I have a favorite Batman version. Hey, how feels kissing Selina? It's great. 
<laughs> you think Gotham is <clears throat> sorry, you think Gotham is going far enough to see you as Batman? Absolutely. I mean I I, I just I think it just depends on how long the show goes. Love the show, thank you. You're doing a great job with Bruce. Which Bruce Wayne is better? Christian Bale or Michael Keaton? They're so different. Like Michael Keaton's very campy. Christian Bale is very dark and intense. You know, it's, it's like it's like comparing Ben Affleck with um, Adam West. You know, it's like it's yeah, they're both Batman, but they're they're just so different. You plan on starting any other move? Starting? You plan on started in other movies? I'm guessing you mean starring in any other movies? Um, like I said before, I have a horror movie coming out, which I'm extremely excited about, with Kevin Bacon, called The Darkness, on May 13th, which is Friday the 13th. And I'm really excited about it. Who's your favorite actor actor to work with on Gotham? I don't really have a favorite actor. They're all really great, like I said before. Everybody's amazing. Favorite superhero besides Batman? Um, ooh, that's a, that's a good question. I... Hmm... I'm really into Martian Manhunter. I really like Martian Manhunter. I feel like he's, I feel like he's underrated. Yeah, I feel like it's a mistake that they haven't. Nobody's made a live action version of Martian Manhunter, or maybe they have, but I haven't seen it. Bruce, Bruce, get me a part of the show. I don't know if I can do that. You can always wait for Assassin's Creed movie with Michael Fassbender. They're making a movie? I had no idea. Oh, that's that's exciting. Whether it be an Arrow crossover, I would love that. I, I don't think it's not planned yet, but, you know, that would be great. Who's the guy in the corner of the screen? Which cor this, this is some illustration of me that I got in Tennessee, I think. Some street artist a while ago, like when I was eight. Oh, shoot, I'm just making it worse. There it is. And then this is a poster for a movie that I did in Argentina. And then this is a baby picture of mine from my bar mitzvah. Right there. Captain America vs. Iron Man, whose side are you on? I'm on side DC Comics, bro. So nice meeting you at Walker Stalker in Secaucus last New Jersey last December. It was great meeting you too. Too bad BVS was a terrible film. Happen to disagree, but everybody's entitled to their opinion. When is the Joker going to show up? Maybe he has. Maybe he hasn't. Alright, I think... Do you know if there are any plans to bring Supergirl into Gotham or make Gotham Earth 3 in the Arrowverse? I don't know. Watch Daredevil? Uh, I do watch Daredevil. Who killed the Waynes? Well, Bruce is convinced that it's Mattress Malone. Maybe young Clark Kent will meet a young Bruce Wayne. That would be so much fun. Tell me, do you bleed? I, I do bleed. I... I yeah. I had a nosebleed the other day. As a matter of fact. Will any other Justice Leaguers make a cameo in Gotham? I mean, none of them besides Bruce, obviously, have. It'd be great if another one did. You like, do you like Marvel? I d like Marvel, but, you know, I'm working for DC, and I happen to like DC more, so. Favorite Gotham villain? Favorite Gotham villain. Um, I, I really love what they're doing with the evolution of the Riddler. I think it's just so real and so... What's the word? It's, it's, it's very real and it's very, you know, relatable in a sense. Obviously, not everyone can relate to that lunacy. Dab, bruh, dab. Dab. I know I'm a terrible answer, so please nobody comment. What character would you like to see? Sh <coughs> what character would you like to see show up in Gotham? I would love to see the Mad Hatter in Gotham. Inspiration, motivation, encouragement. Love that word. Do you like to play any sports that help you with the Batman role? Play any sports? Um, none that particularly help me with the Batman role. I'm not really a sports guy. I don't really have time for sports, but that's not. I mean, sports just isn't really my thing. I love how well they cast the show. You are amazing. Thank you so much, Rachel Mikado. What do you think of Aquaman? I really, I really like Aquaman, and I, I, I'm happy they're making a. I'm, I'm really happy about Jason Momoa in the role, and I'm really excited to see his movie and to see him have a bigger role in the Justice League movie. He was, wasn't in um, Batman vs Superman very much. How are you? I'm good. Hi here. Hey. When we see the League of Assassins. 
I don't know. Israel loves you. I love you, Israel. Hi. France love you, too. Love you, France. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, my dad is actually French. So I'm half French. French. My mother is Greek, so I mean, I have a lot of ethnicities in me. <laughs> when you ago turn Batman, or what? Probably you meant what age do I turn Batman? Um, I think. Well, I'll answer that question. What age do I turn Batman? Um, you know, in the comics, I think typically Batman's are at Bruce's around twenty-five, but it could be twenty, it could be eighteen, it could be, you know, just <laughs> post puberty. So. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Shout out from hashtag Hawaii. Hawaii. How does it feel to work and act with such amazing people? I feel really fortunate and very blessed. How does it feel knowing Deadpool enjoys your show? Does he? Does Ryan Reynolds watch the show? That's, I didn't know that. What's the next villain you'd want to see on the show? Um, I'd love to see, like I said before, I'd love to see Matt Hatter. I'd love to see, um, ooh, Harley Quinn, obviously, Bane. I'd love to see, Calendar Man. I like Calendar Man. Um, yeah, I'd love to see Calendar Man. Do you think Selena will give Bruce any gun training besides that one stint? Um, I don't know the answer to that question. Um, it might happen in season three, but um, I don't know if too much training can happen between Selena and Bruce, um, particularly because obviously Catwoman slash Selena Kyle doesn't know that Bruce Wayne is Batman. Bruce Wayne knows the other way around. He she, he knows that you know Selena Kyle is Catwoman, but I think Selena, in some versions of the comics, Selena figures it out later. But she can't know now. The only two people that are really in on the secret on the show are Lucius and Alfred, and they are in his innermost circle. And I think Bruce is really in season three. He's going to have to start isolating the other people and making them included in the general public of Gotham think that he is not becoming Batman, and that that includes um, Gordon. Do you think if slash when Batman makes an appearance, will they recast you? Will they recast or will you fight for the role? Um, I don't know. I don't know what will happen. Um, maybe maybe by the time they want Batman on the show, I will be old enough for it. I, mean, I don't know. Alright guys, it's been great talking to you. Um, great questions. So much fun answering them. And hopefully we can do this soon again. All right. Have a great day, you all. And a great rest of your week. I know it's only Wednesday. When is Friday going to come? All right. Well, I have homework to do. And thank you all. Have a good day.